Hello friends, welcome to CSOP Space. Today in this video session, we will discuss about how to upload a large files in ASP.NET Core MEC. Uh, because uh, by default, file size of uh, in ASP.NET Core is uh, 28 MB. So if you want to upload a, a file size more than 28 MB, we need a different method. So today we uh, implement this uh, method by an example in ASP.NET Go. So I open a Visual Studio and here we create a one sample project in ASP.NET Core MVC template. Here we choose ASP.NET Core web application and then uh, rename this as a laws Last file upload then choose to ok now after this uh, we select a template as a model view controller this and then click on ok button now this uh, creating a project for a, a large file uploading in sp.net core mbc Now project is uh, created. You open our controller, so home controller.cs, and here uh, we writing a code for uploading a uh, uh, large files. So first of all, uh, we create a we add some more namespaces. So it's using using Microsoft dot SPNet Core dot HTTP and using Microsoft dot SPNet Core dot hosting. And then we create a private variable uh, for i hosting environment. I hosting environment. Then create a object for this environment. And create a one constructor for uh, initializing their values. So it's a public public home controller i hosting environment environment is equal to environment we initialize uh, this value and do this where parameters value is uh, so it's this is the home controller this is the by default uh, controller when we in uh, when this controller will be called by default this method will be initialized now uh, we create a push method for this uh, index view so I am creating a push method with the integrated is as a HTTP post and then it's a request request form limits multi body length limit here we provide a, a length limit here for example uh, i am uh, providing a uh, means uploading a file uh, maximum to 100 mb so i am adding here a size for this so 104 
seven six double zero. This uh, this size for a uh, one hundred MB. Now taking a uh, parameters for a uh, files here. I'm taking a uh, example for uh, multiple files. So it's uh, I from. I from uh, I form files and here it is a uh, posted posted files a string www path is equal to this dot environment dot web root path means we by finding this uh, uh, by default date in this uh, www root directory and then it's a string content path is equal to this dot uh, environment dot content root path string path is equal to path here we need to add a namespace for using system dot io path dot combine this dot environment dot web root path here we create a, a folder for uploading a files so i am taking its uploads if if a directory is not exist directory dot exist path then uh, folder will be created so it's a create directory it's a path for each i from file it's posted files in posted files means this variable is a string file name is equal to path dot get file name it's a posted file dot file name it's a using file string is equal to new uh, file stream it's a path dot uh, combine it's path it's a file name then mode will be create file mode dot create then we get a message for this 
view back dot messes is equal to as per multiple files so i uh, concatenate this messes string dot uh, format it's a bold indexing for uh, getting a value uh, it's a files uploaded it's PR and here is a file name it's a posted file dot copy to string Let's say string now we go to our uh, view it is by default uh, the home app uh, home folder so here we created a html for uploading a files so i will remove all this by default created uh, HTMLs. it's a div adding a container Here we creating a form. It's a method. Method is called to post, and then nc type. It's a multi part form data, and then it's a sp controller. Sp controller is a home, and then sp action. SPX and is a index. This is span and here writing a label for this is a select uh, files and input type is equal to file and then it's a name name is equal to it's the same name as this posted files and change this as a multiple it's input Here is the button its type is equal to submit and the value is upload and it's a br here we write a message okay. style style is a green color green html dot raw it's a view back dot messes back dot message now in next step uh, we adding a web configuration file for uh, increase the, their uh, uh, content length so i'm adding a new item 
and here uh, we adding a configuration file it's a configuration this is a web dot config file so i this uh, click on this add now this adding a web dot config file where uh, we set a length for a max allowed a content length here uh, i'm writing a uh, writing a, a maximum allowed content length uh, for uh, 100 MB we can comment this now remove this uh, handler now it's a security and then request filtering and it's a request limits max allowed content length max allowed content length is the same like or we can increase their values like uh, this is for 100 mb and if you can change like uh, we can uh, add uh, more than this so i set it as a 2 204 it. it's approx uh, 200 Uh, so now uh, we run this project so i'm pressing a control f5 uh, so it run without uh, debugging here we upload uh, any file uh, under 100 mb for testing this project so, uh, now project is loaded so i click on uh, choose files uh, this is a sample video uh, this is approximate it's a uh, 98 mbs so i choose it click on ok sample.mp4 now click on upload button this uh, uploading on a server is approximate 35 percent here it's uploading it's taking little bit time to upload on a server now this uh, processing a file uh, that will be uploaded on a server yeah uh, it's created uh, by default uh, upload folder uh, inside a ww root no uh, file files uploaded this file uploaded now we check it the file is uploaded or not so we check inside this folder it's a ww root uh, this created uh, this process created this folder it's uploads and here in the sample uh, sample video uh, has been uploaded so this is the that is the process for uh, how to upload a large file in uh, sp.net core mbc uh, i will upload i will also write a, a article for this uh, within a week so if you have any questions any problem please write in a comment box i will reply you soon and if you like my videos click on subscribe button and uh, for getting a latest update al also click on notification bell so thanks we will meet in next video session